Heat is in the lineup. Oh, this is a good one to start us off. Mark Lacamere, Peterson, Crisanto, Kiran Jabor, performer from yesterday, as well as Hiroto Arai. Both those surfers coming through the first round to get here into round two. Lacamere and Peterson Crisanto, the seeded surfers. Already, everybody's kind of trying to catch that first wave, and then once a the surfer takes off, he goes to the back of the line. And starting us off here, day two at the Hawaiian Pro, it is Kiran Jabor. Because only two waves are going to count. Hiroto Orai, surfer out of Japan. Uh, that is an unforced error for Hiroto. You can see how lumpy the water is right now, so it's going to make executing maneuvers a little bit harder. He does a couple of nice little turns to set up, and then goes straight up, and when he comes back in... A hit, and of course, with those lumps, sometimes we get good ramps, so hopefully we'll see more of the air show carry over from yesterday. And again, staying busy here on Jabor. Surfs a lot of events here in the Hawaiian region and around the world. Definitely gets himself out there. These guys from all over the world, and they are looking at every detail these surfers are throwing at them. Big Wait. first maneuver right there from Kiran Jabor. I mean, went right through the roof. So that's what the judges are going to really like. Those big, making the most of those opportunities when they arrive. A couple of one of the best, most lethal backhands in the business, John Duru. All right, speaking of lethal backhands, Lacomer from the middle peak. As a goofy footer coming into the Vans Triple Crown of surfing, got to be in the back of your mind. You know, five five to six years. Backsiders are really evening things out in waves of consequence out here on the North Shore. You see Crisanto now, a pair of nice carving slashes out the back making this inside section. So this is our first look at a couple of waves that have come through at that middle peak. We'll see if these surfers decide. It's great. Here's the replay of Lacamere on the backhand. Gets a quick hit off the top, comes around the corner for a little open face. Cut back into the power pocket and then finishes strong on the inside. So he gets two pretty solid maneuvers, one okay one. And then backing that up is Peterson Crisanto, who kind of got the better of the exchange. That first turn I liked. The second turn nice and clean, and then does well to find the inside connection to where he does another hit, so he gets three off. The, the clothes are not as strong as Lacamere, but the first couple of turns, pretty solid. Maybe gonna come out, maybe equal, but pretty good surfing. I know that Kiran Jabor did that one really quick hit, and got a five for it, so we'll see what these guys come. Three on a big 540. What do you think is going to be the high average score on the day right now as we watch Hiroto arrive with a big snap? So you saw the aggression that he went into that turn with. That's what we're talking about when you less turn off of it. Kiran Jabor keeps pouring it on. That's the backhand snap that has been getting him through these heats. I like the second turn. Oh, you know, Kiran and Hiroto over here on this little reform left, which is, I think, the, the one of the better ways. It just offers, it's going to offer up some, some scoring potential. Are the bosses at the end of the video game, and you've got to uh, have some reserves of psych, and, uh, you know, your mental game's got to be strong, because it has been a long year for some of these surfers, when the waves get big. When you take that survival theory out of the equation it all comes down to heat strategy now so you can really start to you know big scary waves that we see over here the other one is to defend yourself against the other surfers when you take away the element of fear and you go fully into strategy mode that's when you can freak yourself out so it's the surfers who are going to be able to focus hey you can freak yourself out playing the strategy game well Crisanto his strategy paying off a couple of quick hits and then this final turn in the lip, great oh, timing. Sparky. And then you got Lacomer who gets the one turn off, but you know, making kind of a mistake there, not taking the second wave. And we're looking to see him get himself on something better. Hiroto right now. Get a four, five, three, so this would be his backup. And again, that wave looked okay from the start, but he for him. Here we go, here's a, a number two wave. So, uh, 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 the same wave. That's the same wave. So, Peterson Crisanto 
Again, so you're right, Strider. This is the second wave of the set. Well, that one didn't really illustrate that play. It comes in, but this turn right here, pretty aggressive. Off the bottom, pushes really hard into it, drops the wall, goes for the layback snap. But you see the nose kind of tucked under that little lump, which floors he's freed himself up to push it a little harder. Here's a heat recap. Mark Lacomere. He didn't find a good wave. Yeah, a couple little ways. This was his first wave, which made me think it was going to be a great idea to sit over there behind him again on the second wave, getting a better score. His opponent, Peterson Crisanto, does well to weave back into the corner and finish on the inside. So he's kind of got his number on which waves to catch. Kiran Jabor, he's had a couple of really nice waves. He just needs to get a little bit more speed and open face because Crisanto is finding it over there on this other peak. And this wave, this final turn, the highest wave of the heat so far, 627 with that final turn to the lead. Here he is again, Crisanto on a roll. Finding these little reforms. They're giving him ample opportunity. He's at 587. Kiran Jabor now finding a right straight up into the lip. Gets around this section. Another vertical snap on a tricky couple of sections that makes it work. Here's Hirota Arai off the bottom and out. That's Hook. coming. Here's a replay right now. Kiran Jabor throws it straight up into the lip. Hard to surf a wave like this going section to section when they're that far apart, but does well. Does there, he's now in second priority. So maybe there's a method to that madness right there. Lacamere now, final opportunity. So this is the surfing that we're used to seeing, big, powerful backside turns. Final snap. So better wave selection for Lacamere and Kiran Jabor now again, finding the jam, blasting that inside section. And we got to sell it to the judges a little bit. And Crisanto, your leader now, 28 seconds to go, hunting a ramp. Ops for the double floater. Most likely won't be a score of consequence since he's got a 6-2-7 and a 5-8-3. It's going to be if he got... Here we go. Is this a... Great, 5-7-3. I mean, look at the, the canvas. is nice and clean. Goes out, does a couple of good turns. I don't know. That, That's I tough. Mean, That's, that it, is borderline. Kieran drops in. You know, he smashes it once right there. And if he would have... If he would have come through this one with... A little bit better of an execution to finish that wave. It would wave and think, oh, maybe if I could have blown I the think tail he out a little bit. I think yeah. he could have hit that Pushed lip a little, a little harder and he would have got the score. All right. Well, upsets already in the first heat of the day.